now Messi going? Three transfer options explained after his PSG exit from Al Hilal to Inter Miami. Messi has been linked with moves to Saudi Arabia and the USA as well as a return to Barcelona after playing his final match in Paris. Whistles rather than cheers greeted Lionel Messi as he strode out on the Parc de Princes pitch for the final time as a PSG player after the club's 3-2 defeat against Clermont in Ligue 1 on Saturday. It was an unhappy and entirely predictable end to Messi's time at the club following confirmation before the game that he would be moving on this summer after two years in Paris. Relations between Messi, PSG and the club's supporters have been strained for months in part due to yet another unsuccessful Champions League campaign as well as the Argentines' unauthorized promotional jaunt to Saudi Arabia which landed him a two-week suspension and fine in May. And so the news of Messi's imminent departure has come as little surprise. As was the case when he tearfully left Barcelona two years ago, Messi, who turns 36 at the end of June, is free to discuss his next move which might well be the final contract he signs before hanging up his boots. Here are the potential destinations for Messi next season. Al Hilal Messi was paid a reported £25 million to become a tourism ambassador for Saudi Arabia last year and has regularly posted pictures of himself and his family in the country on social media since. Most recently on May 15. Given Messi's association with Saudi Arabia and the country's blatant push to become a global hub of elite sport, or in other words, to globally sports wash its reputation, it is unsurprising that he has been tipped to follow in Cristiano Ronaldo's footsteps by heading to the Middle East. Rebooting the Messi vs Ronaldo rivalry is evidently a tantalizing prospect for Saudi Arabia's moneymen. Rather than team up with Ronaldo at Al Nasser, Messi has been most strongly linked with Al Hilal, Saudi Arabia's most successful club by a considerable distance. They have won 18 league titles, twice as many as any of their rivals. According to Spanish publication Sport, Al Hilal are prepared to offer Messi £345 million per season to play for them. A figure that dwarfs Ronaldo's reported £175 million contract. Karim Benzema is also attracting attention from Saudi clubs after confirming his departure from Real Madrid after 14 years in the Spanish capital. Barcelona A Barcelona homecoming would be the romantic option in contrast to the pragmatic choice of Al Hilal. Messi left Barcelona in 2021 due to the club's chronic financial mismanagement under Josep Maria Bartomeu's presidency and La Liga's stringent tightening of salary rules. Rather than of his own accord and a return would surely appeal. Just as in 2021, though, the fiscal obstacles which stopped Barcelona from keeping Messi could prevent them from bringing him back in 2023. La Liga will again demand that Barcelona slash their salary budget ahead of the 2023-24 campaign, by as much as €200 million Euros, £172 million pounds, to comply with its regulations. Much has been made of Barcelona's financial gymnastics over the past 12 months. But reducing their budget, while adding the highest-earning footballer in the world to the squad, may be one pulled lever too far. Nevertheless, Barcelona looked to be heading in a positive direction on the field once more after cruising to the La Liga title under Messi's longtime teammate Xavi. Unsurprisingly, he has made little secret of his desire to be reunited with the seven-time Ballon d'Or winner. My priorities are very clear to the club, Xavi said. I don't have to make them public. But it is true I'd like a lot that Messi returns. I've been in touch with him regularly and that's why in the last few days I've said it depends on his decision too. Then, after Messi, the defensive midfielder, to replace Sergio Busquets, is the other priority we have. Those are the two main focuses we'll have in the best case scenario for the club in the transfer window. Inter Miami Unfortunately, any prospect of an unlikely Messi ex Phil Neville link up in the Magic City has been dashed after the former Manchester United defender was given the boot by his former teammate and Inter Miami co owner David Beckham last week. Still, if Messi decides to head to the MLS, Inter Miami are regarded as his most likely destination, 
particularly if his former Barcelona and Argentina manager Gerardo Tata Martino is appointed as Neville's successor. Javi Morales, another Argentine, is currently in charge on a temporary basis. Since being formed five years ago, Inter Miami have sought to supplement their squad with Argentine talent. Most notably by making Gonzalo Higuain their first marquee acquisition. Higuain retired last year, but the squad still has a strong Argentine core with three in the current squad. Miami also has a sizable Hispanic community. Inter Miami would be unable to match the riches proposed by Al Hilal, lack the emotional pull of Barcelona and are struggling on the field as they languish in last place in the MLS Eastern Conference. But the lifestyle may appeal to Messi, who purchased a luxury apartment in the Florida city last year. Analysis, Why Saudi Arabia Desperately Want Messi By Kevin Garside, I's Chief Sport Correspondent The cost to Saudi Arabian club Al-Hilal of hiring Messi is reportedly £520 million over two years beginning in June. This dwarfs the £170 million yearly sum paid by Al Nasser to Cristiano Ronaldo. The value of which to the host country is enhanced considerably with the revival of the game's preeminent rivalry over the past 15 years. That both are past their best is irrelevant. It is not about the football they produce, but the power of association. Messi and Ronaldo are trip switches that connect us immediately with Saudi Arabia. Whilst many well-adjusted folk reel at the brazen public relations grab, the development lands without a murmur in enough territories to make the deal cheap at twice the price. In one mesmeric month Messi demonstrated the capacity of sport to shift the agenda by quietening anti-Qatari sentiment around the World Cup. The clumsy justifications of FIFA President Johnny Infantino that lit up the opening weekend, the flood of negative commentary around human rights abuses, the ill-treatment of imported labor. Allegations of corruption around the bidding process, all extinguished in the messy inferno. Public executions, anti-LGBT plus laws, male guardianship, the abusive kafala system governing the migrant workforce will barely make the foreign news agenda if Messi touches down for his Al-Hilal debut. The move also has the added benefit of kicking troublesome neighbor Qatar where it hurts, stealing the prize bauble from Qatari-owned Paris Street Germain. The Qataris won't mind so much should Sheikh Jassim bin Hamad Al Thani's third bid secure the world's biggest football brand. Manchester United And on it goes until such a point that we are all jetting off to Riyadh, Jeddah or Mecca as merrily as we do London, Paris and Rome. Ultimately that is the purpose. To persuade the world to think of Saudi Arabia as we do regular destination venues visited by budget airlines. Messi, Ronaldo, Newcastle, Manchester United et al. are the soft power battering rams that desensitize us to the reality of things. And dollar bills are the hard currency that make even the most hostile environments desirable to participants who would otherwise be on a plane to the United States to see out their careers. Thanks for your watching, don't forget to click the subscribed button and hit the bell icon for more.